and exchange. Remember to stay on the ball your toes so that you can get to reach farther to the target. Right? Get on the ball with the toes. That was Coach Garvin Ned rallying his troops at the GCC ground border, taking them through several drills. The camp caters for youngsters aged 7 to 15 who will be edified on the basics of batting, bowling, fielding and general skills development over the next two weeks. Also listed on the program are sessions on mental skills, personal and life skills, discipline, goal setting and tactical awareness and captaincy and leadership. By the end of the camp on August 26th, it is the hope that the club would be able to identify young cricketers who can potentially become members of its youth arm. According to manager Rudolf Singh, the club took a significant blow with the advent of COVID-19, the youth arm bearing the brunt of the impact. And from then to now, our uh, under-15 boys have become 18 years. So we don't have a, an under-15 squad. So the, the main reason behind this um, summer camp is to rebuild an under-15 squad. If you notice, we're targeting youngsters between the ages of uh, 7 to 15. Right, with the hope of strengthening back our under-15 squad. Net apart, the sessions are being conducted by Oren Bailey and Peter Passod. The 40 participants have been placed in three groups based on their age to foster individualized attention. We're also um, learning them uh, various mannerisms, right. right? How to be disciplined, uh, how to be mannerly, and so we're hoping that we can make a change in, in their lives as, as they live here in another 10 days. Right. And I guess the satisfaction in the long term is to see some of these players not just joining the club but going on to represent Guyana and the West Indies. Yeah, of course it, it is a real um, pleaser to see when you, you know that a youngster passed pass through your class or your hands as to speak, right? Um, and you see they go on to do nice things or great things. Um, it's always a proud moment for you. Coach Peter Prasad, who is in charge of the youngest group of participants, said it is important such camps are held to keep young people meaningfully engaged. He, like Singh, is keeping a close eye on the young talents with the aim of getting them to sign up with the club. So I notice you have three, three different groups here. Yeah, um, tell group. us a bit about the specific areas you've been focusing on with these three groups. Well, my, 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 my group is the babies at the camp. Mr. Gavin Ned has the middle age and Mr. Oren Bailey has the, the, the older kids. So the thing is that if we had more time to do one month camp, we could have exchanged in the groups. But being that it's two weeks, we try to give them all the knowledge about cricket. There's so many distractions for young people these days. How important is having camps like these? Oh, the camp is very important. Once you have the camps, it keeps them away from bad friends, drugs. And once they come in the club, the club becomes their second home. So I would encourage all the other parents in Guyana to, do, to get them children involved in camps. It's very, very important. Prasad has been involved with the club for the past 40 years, both as a player and now a coach. His aim going forward is to help return the club to the days when it was consistently producing quality players for Guyana and the West Indies. I guess the satisfaction for you would be, you know, years down the line, you see some of these guys playing for Guyana and even the West Indies. Oh, it would please any coach at any time, anywhere, to see that, you know, that the players that you come, that come through the junior ranks or the, and go to the, 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 the on a 19 level, the, 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 the national level, it please the coach. But we want to get our upper body into the drive, into whatever shot it is. So let me get the upper body going into it. I want to see a breaking down this building. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avinash Ramzan.